Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? Certainly you saw the news Monday, Taysom Hill, the reports are torn ACL, done for the season. We all saw the play on uh, on Sunday against the Rams. It was the fourth and one. He was in the single wing, took the direct snap, went left side, got the first down. The left leg extended, hit. It, you knew it immediately when you saw it. It was one of those like turn your head, hold your breath type moments. Um, after the game, Darren Rizzi uh, didn't have much of an update on Taysom. He did confirm on Monday that Taysom will be done for the rest of the year. Can you play four, please? Because Rizzi was asked, okay, now that you um, that you've lost Taysom for the year, like how do you replace him in this offense? Yeah, it means everybody else has to step up. You know, he he fills so many roles, so there's going to be a lot of different guys that are going to have to be a part of the solution there. We'll start getting hopefully a couple of healthy bodies back here. Uh, I think we're going to open the window this week with uh, with Kendra Miller, open up his 21 day window. Bub Means, another guy. Hopefully, we get back this week. Uh, we'll open up his 21 day window. Looks like, and so and then all, obviously all the guys that have been uh, you know supporting cast uh, these last few weeks. We've done a good job. You know, these last few weeks of getting a lot of different guys involved, and that's going to have to remain the same. And again, it's hard to sit here and tell you that uh, you can replace Taysom. You can't. He's a he's a phenomenal person, player, uh, leader, captain, all those different things. So uh, it's certainly a big loss. But that's the only only way we can do is everybody else has to step up. Yeah, the short answer is no, you don't. And I, you don't even need to hear. Uh, and I can understand certainly Darren Rizzi having to say what he can. Other guys got to step up. Uh, the news the news there is opening Bub Means and Kendra Miller's twenty one day window to return. Maybe you get him back this week against. Uh, against the Giants, maybe it's it's a week later at home against the Commanders, but we've seen this, right? I mean, you just look at the Falcons game, the first Falcons game, not that you need me to recreate this for you and how it all went for New Orleans, but the Saints lost to the Falcons 26-24. That was a game where they were virtually unstoppable in the first half, and all they managed were field goals in the second half. Um, a, a field goal in the third quarter, and then Kamara's um, one-yard touchdown run late, uh, to tie it before, uh, or to give the Saints the one point lead before Young Waku hit the 58 yard, excuse me, to, to win it 26 24. But um, your offense just went in the deep freeze when Taysom went out. And then you played Monday Night Football against the Chiefs, where you scored just 13 points uh, without Taysom. That was the game where Derek Carr got hurt. Then you played the game against Tampa, where you did score 27. Uh, but in the second half, it was, um, it, it was a real struggle. You got shut out. It was a, it was weird. You got down big in that game, if you remember. It was I'm looking at the box score right here. You got down um, 17 nothing in the first quarter and came back all the way back to take a 20 to 17 lead, um, and then actually took a 27 24 lead into the break, and then you just got blitzed in the second half, 27 to nothing. You lost 51 27. But and then you had the Thursday night football game against the Broncos, where you scored just 10 points and your run defense was atrocious. Um, then eight points against the Chargers, and um, you know, when you got Taysom back, it um, it just opens up more in this offense. It kind of goes without saying. Um, I you know I don't know how you do this, but Rizzy was also asked if they ever try to recreate that role. Like, is there someone else on the team that you could put in that capacity? I mean, it, you know, in some ways, you know, Sean Payton tried to try to recreate this role. But um, or, or thought they might be trying to draft the the recreation of this role. But here was here was Darren Rizzi um, on if they have anyone else that could replace Taysom. I think in the time I've been here, we've we've looked in the draft and said I've heard the expression used before. Well, that guy is a Taysom like player, you know. And you bring a guy in and see how many roles he can fill. I think the difficult part in today's NFL is that everything is so specialized, and so Taysom is such a rare player because everything's so specialized. You know, you have pass rushers and nickels and, you know, third down guys and this and that. So when guys come into the league, they don't have a lot of the experience at a lot of those different things. So you're teaching guys to do, you know, Taysom came to us and hadn't really done a lot of the special team stuff and turned himself into a very good special teams player. So 
to sit here and say that you can just plug one guy in and do all those different things. I think it's a process. Taysom did such a great job when he got here of learning the offense and then kind of integrating him into special teams. And then, oh, by the way, can he be a kick returner? And, and so, yeah, I mean, I've heard that. I've heard that discussions happen before, but that's a that's not a one day thing. You know, that's a long you know process to his credit. Uh, Tommy Stevens was the player that Sean Payton drafted in round seven, if you remember. And the whole they, he he got they were going to sign him as an undrafted free agent. Sounded like they were going to lose him, and so then he moved back into the draft to get him. And it just it was Sean Payton acting like a pissed off teenager, which he did at times, and that wasn't very smart. But you know, you look at Taysom both short and long term. Uh, you know, Taysom's 34. Next year, he'll be in his year 35 season coming off a very serious knee injury. And, you know, when you look at, at, the, at the cap hit, it's 17.9, but the dead money is 17.7. So another way to say it, like, if you, if you cut or wave Taysom Hill – you would only save 200 grand against your cap. So it does you no good whatsoever to, to part ways with Taysom Hill. Now, when you look into 2026, you know, now you're talking about the voidable years on his deal. Um, but really, 25 and 26 would be, excuse me, excuse me, 26 and 27 would be the years where you would look and say, okay, that's where where it might make sense to move on. And I think this is really more of a question for Taysom. At, at 34 years old, next year being 35, coming off a very serious knee injury that he's going to have to rehab. We don't know when he'll be available or to, to his normal self, whatever that may look like. Um, you know, that's a question he's going to have to ask himself or answer when how long, how much longer he wants to play. And the odd thing about a guy like Taysom, of course, is when you're when you're 34 years old, usually you've played a dozen, you're 13 years in the NFL. And, you know, for Taysom, he's eight years in. Like this is year eight. Because going to BYU and doing the Mormon mission, it it just it, it delays your football career. So he's probably about he's five years older they're about four or five years older than someone in football terms would normally be um, at, at this age, at this stage of their career, eight years in. So, look, I'd love to see Taysom Hill come back. I think we all love to see him play in the black and gold. The, the spark he gives, the role he gives, he's such a unique player and unique not being misused. Like in the literal sense, there's, there's only one. There's nobody else in the NFL that's used like Taysom Hill. There's, the last time we saw something like this was 60 years ago with Frank Gifford. So you'd love to see Taysom come back. It's massively unfortunate that the injury happened, but you have to start asking these very real questions about how much longer he wants to play, how much longer can his body hold up playing the role he plays in the NFL, and what does it mean for your cap? Financially, it makes sense like that, that Taysom Hill is going to be on your team next year, but beyond next year is when you start to look and say how much longer will Taysom Hill be in the black and gold. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.